Good morning, modern steaders. So I think Willow was in heat starting last night. So this morning, we're gonna get her loaded up. We're gonna bring her to the breeder we brought her from. We're gonna visit the buck. So hopefully I'm right and she is in heat. I might be going a little overboard, but I wanna make sure she's protected from the cold and the wind while we transport her. It's gonna be on the warmer side today, high 30s. piece of foam on top. <sighs> They're calling for snow, freezing rain, and rain tonight. So we also got to get prepared for another power outage. <laughs> oh, I got a bunch of lights charging. Remind me later and I will show you those glass lights we have and I'll tell you where we got them from. Share a link. But I think we got five or six charging up, getting water supplies ready, get some gas for the generators. Oh, it's a crazy year. We're coming to get Willow. This will also be the first time these three have been separated. Anytime. So I don't wonder how they all do about that. Let's check the water. Bum, bum. So this water's been sitting out all night long. It's 26 degrees this morning. It's not frozen. That's a win, huh? We got Willow and the kids are in the barn. They got some hay. Those should be nice and content. I think Willow knows something's up. Huh, Willow? <laughs> She's like, where are you taking me? You're doing good. Yeah. It'll be okay. We're gonna come back. Want well, to make sure she has wind protection, but she can still get air, and she's eating her hay. <laughs> so we know she's in a good mood. Willow's doing good by herself. Let's check on the kids and see how they're doing. Just eating your hay? Yep, they don't even care. Keeping them locked in the barn, because Buttercup this summer was putting her heads and getting it stuck in the fence. So I don't want them looking for a willow and getting stuck in the fence while we're not home. <laughs> oh, it's always something with goats. You excited? Me and Olivia headed out to go bring Willow to the breeder. Mom's staying home. She's got Christmas shopping to do. And we can't see it, huh? Yeah. So you excited for Willow to get bred? We'll have to sit down and figure it out if it takes today when she'll be due. <gasps> I hope she's in heat and I hope it works today, huh? It'd be pretty cool to have baby goats running around the farm. Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. Do you remember, Olivia? This is where we used to come and buy the seconds lumber when we were building our house. What was that? I said, now you can't even buy wood from there. I know, they won't sell anybody the seconds anymore. Do you remember when we left one of the times with the truck and trailer? What happened when we were going down the road shortly after? You don't remember the deer jumping out in front of us and we had to jack the brakes on? <laughs> we're like, ah! Yeah. The memories, huh, Libby? The memories. 
Oh, I would have loved to see what this place looked like back in like the 1800s with horse and buggies. I'm sure they were all tied up and hitched to the front of that old brick store. What do you think? Do you wish you could have seen that back in the day? Yeah. That would have been kind of neat, huh? People riding their horse and buggies to the store to get their feed and flour and whatever else they ordered. Where the black top ends. Oops. In a quarter mile. You hear Willow? Yeah. I wonder if she smells her farm. Who knows? She's she's been here. She's she hasn't been here for like almost six months. Yeah. We don't know, guys. We're giving them time to do their thing, but <sighs> so they did the deed three times. So hopefully she's pregnant. Time will tell. I'll have to keep an eye on her and see if she goes into heat again. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going down the hill. <laughs> No, you're trying to draw back there? Yeah, it doesn't look very good. It's a little bumpy. And just like that, we're back home. like a male goat. You can tell you've been on a date, Mrs. Oh, you want to go inside, mister? You ready to go see the girls? Come on. Oh, you want some hay? Down here, you'll get your treat. Can't wait to get back and see the girls. Slow down, Willow. Whew. <laughs> She's like, let me in, let me in. Oh, hold on. Oh, you're reunited. Oh, reunited once again. They're like, Pew, you stink. You smell funny. Ouch. Yeah, I bet that hurt. Crazy. Now they're all frisky. Man, that hurt my noggin. Well, now we get to play the wait game. And we'll see if Willow goes back into heat or not. And if she doesn't, then I believe it'll be around the beginning of May that we'll be having kid goats running around here. That'll be awesome. The only animals we've ever bred before is rabbits. I guess chickens, but you hatch them. So it's always fun having babies on the homestead. Olivia and I are gonna enjoy a nice brunch. That egg and the scrambled egg, sausage, home fries, and a couple of hash browns. How many people put ketchup on their breakfast? 
Olivia and Gina do, but I don't. I want to be able to taste my breakfast and not just ketchup. You do taste your breakfast. No, you don't. You don't. You don't like put it. In, you don't put like your food in there. You roll it in there. You just like dip the little bit in and eat it. Help us with the dispute. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments down below. Huh? I say no ketchup. I say ketchup. <laughs> and I bet some of y'all use Tabasco sauce. Yuck. <laughs> We'll find out in a few weeks. I hope it did. So this came into the P.O. box the other day to you. I'm assuming it's from a viewer. You want to see what it is? Yeah. A bunch of bubbles. Yes. Thank you. What you you said you just wanted this for Christmas last night, didn't you? Yeah. No notes? No. No. We don't know who it's from. We're assuming it's from one of the viewers. Thank you guys. Olivia was just asking for this. Pretty cool. So it's a bracelet maker. Oh my, we're gonna have bracelets all over the house now, aren't we? Yep. Is it working? Yeah. What do you do? Finishing one. You finishing one? Give it a crank, show us what it does. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. Looks good. Bring the hay to Moose and his ladies. They'll like it. Ed Pluto, get in the sled. Get in. No? You want to pull it then? You wanna pull it? Go ahead, pull it. Here. Come here, take it. Go, pull it. Oh, you bonehead. Here, take it. Pull it, go. Go! Ah. There you go. I'll scare them out. I'm gonna put some more hay in there for bedding. For them. A pretty good score today. One, two, three, five clean eggs. For this time of the year and having ten laying hens, five eggs is awesome. And it has to do with the less daylight and not to do with the cold or the snow. the house up with firewood this way. Lose power or not, we already have it. Sounds like it's gonna be pretty slippery after tomorrow. That should be a good load.
read it in the comments now. Don't drag that sled on the concrete. Uh, that's what we bought it for, so we can use it. And it's pretty hard plastic to make to pull across the ice, so. So far, I haven't seen any wear marks or anything from pulling it on the concrete. about two more loads. This amount of wood will last us, depending on how cold it is, between five to seven days. I better take this snow off before it gets too heavy and wet with the rain we got coming. A lot of snow. I'm glad I took that snow off, man. That shelter would have caved in if we would have got any rain on it. I don't think it could have taken much more weight. The goats are saying, where's our hay? We need an afternoon snack. They're pretty pushy. Listen, we have to ration you girls. We don't want you getting too big. How was your date, Willow? Did it go good? I hope it did. I guess I know it went well, but are you pregnant? Huh? Do you know if you're pregnant, Willow? Huh? Sick, like I don't want to talk about it. You gonna walk through? You're crazy. Water's still not frozen. Good. With all the snow everywhere, the lighting is so crazy. On the camera, everything else shows up dark right now. It's all they wanted was some hay. Is that good? Is that like prime rib to you girls? Huh? Buttercup's not even coming up for any air. The girls are crazy. Crazy, crazy. So our Christmas lights aren't on. They're solar powered. And for the last four, if not five days, we haven't seen the sun. So the lights aren't charging. <sighs> we need to see some sunlight. But we're skipping past a whole bunch of time this afternoon. What did we do this afternoon? I edited a video. You went and you stuffed some stockings. Then we went grocery shopping. So you didn't miss oh, anything fun. I can't open this with you. And you know what? Ah. Willow. You still smell like a male goat. Pew! I can't get it open. You can't get it open with Willow, can you? You all content now? You got some hay to chew on? I hear Olivia outside. That solar light's trying to come on, but it hasn't got enough charge in it. <laughs> I'll have to shut that off when we get in the house. What are you doing? So this isn't Goat Mountain anymore, it's Olivia Mountain? No, it's Slide Mountain. Oh, it's Slide Mountain now? 
Uh -huh. All right. During the season without snow, it's goat mountain, but right now it's side mountain. All right. Yeah. Show us. <laughs> Can you feel the slats on your butt? No. No? That's good. I can feel it when I, when I climb up a little bit, though. You can. Just a little bit. Now you gotta yell, King of the Mountain. What? Now you gotta yell, Queen of the Mountain. I am the Queen of the Mountain! Did you hear it echo? No. Oh. No. You ready? Yeah. You better catch me. I'll catch you. You gonna slide down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't go that far out. I'm not that far out. I'll catch you. <laughs> That was, <laughs> was that fun? <laughs> the wood pile slide. Yeah. This is where we're going to end today's video. Go out and have a great day today. Go out, play with your kids, have fun. Remember what it's to be like a kid. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video. I almost forgot we had a lot of people asking us about our mason jar lights. They're a solar powered LED light and you can charge them with a USB drive back up too. I'll have a link in the description down below where you can get these. They're really neat there. Handmade in South Africa. It's pretty wild. They're nice, solar powered, and you can charge them. For like us right now, we're not having any sun, we can charge them tonight before we lose power. And then on the sunny days, we can just leave them in the window and they stay charged. Olivia loves these for a night light when we lose power. They work really well. I can hang on the wall in the living room when there's no power. They come in really handy.